Hello, this is Captain Mafia here. Um, I'm going to apologise straight off. This is my second time recording this and I failed. Don't worry, I'm going to start afresh with a new game. Which I'm going to release a trailer for the Let's Play about the same time as this video. So, I've rooted all the buildings in the area, as you can probably see me doing now. So, I'm going to say that, well sorry again I messed up, but I'm going to talk about the story of the <gasps> game. You get here by a naval ship, probably American, it's always the goddamn Americans. Anyway, you get here by a naval ship, somehow, due to the magic of the island, and probably just some fake science, the ship and its crew magically teleports around and you get teleported to several different places, one where you almost get attacked by a bear, some zombie, well one zombie and you get teleported to the beach that's you watching me play on now. So I don't know what I'm doing on the video right now because I messed up so badly because I'm doing it on an iPhone and I can't watch a video and record commentary that's past well after done the video so massive apology so I'm just doing a voiceover to keep it interesting and not to get you all bored so that's why I'm keeping this video short about nine minutes or so Anyway, where was I? Yeah, the island's supposed to levitate because of magnets. So, let's go into the science because I love science and I love game theory, film theory, and different channels like that. So, science. Well, this island's supposed to float because of magnets. So, <coughs> what, what, what are magnets? The magnets. <coughs> Ah, uh, a force, a magnetic force. Okay, this is going to be very brief because even though I do triple science, I'm not an expert on magnets. But magnets can be used to levitate. If you have two magnets and have their op the same pole facing to each other, they don't like it because opposite attract. So that's one way to levitate it. Secondly, it could by using a superconductor, pull a magnetic field through a superconductor and that will float as well but anyway I should probably talk about the video more I, as I said, don't know what I'm doing so I'm going to talk about how to survive in any game on, including real life so that's fun, I guess so if you ever heard of a rule of three when it comes to survival, you can survive three minutes without air, three days without water, three weeks without food. Well, if you can survive three weeks without food, why do you get starving after half an hour? Well, the reason you get hungry after half an hour is because... It's your body's way of telling you, hey, eat something or bad things are going to happen. So that's debunked immediately. If you feed a person that's not used to eating food, and they're less likely to feel hungry after half an hour. So if someone's been starving, and they give them a meal that makes them well fed, they're less likely to feel hungry because... They've been hungry for long enough. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, water. Water is very important. So, I guess three days without water sounds about right. But in Radiation Island, you don't have to deal with water. But in one of my other favourite games, which, if I can get recording on my computer, is Stranded Deep. You have to deal with water there. 
and it does it in a clever way. You can use a solar still, do some boiling, drink a coconut. So water is easily covered there. And there, uh, I don't think I'm playing a space survival horror game, so no need to worry about air. But all the time you need to worry about air if you're in water. So if you're swimming and you're not getting any new air, and you're in an average size zoom while swimming, you need to worry about that rule. So, what should I talk about now? Well, we can talk about how long why it took me a month to release this video. Okay, two words, life and school. And, well, that's all I have to say. Anyway, curious, what is your favourite YouTuber? Well, my favourite YouTuber's got to be, it's between Enterlysium, The Game Theory, but that means MatPat. Who doesn't love MatPat? And Matt Rowan, that Kerbal Space Program YouTube, Kerbal Space Program YouTuber that's British. Because, oh, Britannia, I should probably stop singing. Um, I'm British as well. Very patriotic. Um, I should probably tell you about this museum that I'm about the It's going to be called Warwick. And, oh, Dr. Warwick. I'm back. So I had to go to the phone rang. And, well, since I'm recording separately from the video, I can easily leave a video playing, so. I had a check of what the video was going on so I can talk about stuff better. I believe I was just chopping down trees. So I to chop down those trees and got what I got to do. You're probably wondering why that chest is put on the roof. If you can remember back that far, you could do, I'm not too sure. But anyway, the chest is on the roof because I thought it was funny. And, well, it turned out it wasn't very funny at all. So, that's kind of incorrect. It wasn't really funny at all. So, what to talk about now? I could talk about how I accidentally just turned my phone off whilst recording this voiceover. So, I told you I'm messing with this video very bad. Well, I should say very badly. Anyway, what to talk about? I'm going to talk about life. Well, my life is interesting. I go to school, I have school holidays, and that's my life. Anyway, I wanted to start YouTubing because I like YouTube and I always wanted to do something on YouTube so <coughs> this is a dream come true even though I messed up but here have you ever heard a good YouTuber not messed up in his lifetime I haven't heck even the first YouTubers probably messed up their own videos well I meant when they were th you, you get what I mean yeah I'm not very good with words at times being dyslexic and yeah well talk about dyslexia some of the best famous well famous people and some of the best scientists are dyslexic like a certain Albert Einstein I sh could mention but I'm thinking I'm getting off topic for what I was talking about before this cut I was talking about the new expo I was going to do if I don't mess it up, because it can easily be done without messing up, there's a game called Whirlings, recent game on the App Store, which I immediately fell in love with. It's basically better World of Warplanes, but worse War Thunder. Okay, that's not doing it justice. It's a, well, it's a plain first person shooter. Well, not first, third. We fly around the plane doing dogfights. 
Sounds fun. Um, definitely go and play as Britain, because, like I said before, I'm very patriotic. And, well, I love Britain. Britain's my home country. I love it. Anyway, I think the video's about to end, so I'm going to stop commentary here. So, Captain Matthew, signing off. <laughs>